Welcome to this video. Playing Miss Mengler. Miss Mengler from um, Canada. Bishop g5. Okay. There is a really crazy line against that. Okay. <laughs> Bishop h4, knight h6 is what I was talking about. Okay, let's see here. f6 is um, a funny extra tempo. I'm not sure what if it is um, helpful, but uh, at least it's a non-standard position. So let's go for it. Okay, it's it's a weakening, a bit weakening though. That's clear. But I have a center, a, a big center. <laughs> okay, let's see how to how to play. Queen b6, maybe. It's got queen c2, yeah. She's got queen c2. You still need to assume that that it's <laughs> that is really a miss, yeah. You never know. G6, hmm, yeah. Hmm. Don't know. Queen b6 <clears throat> is also played. Okay. To um to address a possible bishop b5. I don't mind the queen trade really. c4 takes takes uh, maybe e4. Hmm. Interesting. Very very complicated. Okay. I play this to prevent knight f3 and maybe allow me to play c4. Okay. c4, I have d4. Hmm. Going for b5, b4. Yeah, I have a very nice space advantage, but um, White's position still feels relatively solid. Still B4. Hmm. Hmm. I have E3 here, trying to to irritate him. E3. He must go back to B1, which is not. Not very comfortable. Okay, but this is this is a simple and good continuation. Trying to get the important bishop, and the upcoming b4 really gives some substantial pressure on the queen side. Here we go. Knight d2 I take here on c3. It's not clear what his move is. Taking or what her move is, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, takes, bishop takes, I yeah, need to play king e2. And this looks really atrocious. Yeah, maybe. Check. Yeah, and now amongst others there's c3. Maybe c3 is is this too direct? Okay. Probably I should strike. Strike while this is possible. Takes bishop takes just wins with rook a2. This I didn't I didn't consider even, which does not mean it is uh, necessarily bad. Hmm. Yeah, well, bishop a3, bishop b2. Yeah, maybe this, this, this is good. This is good. How does he prevent c2 even here? There's also knight f2. Yeah, but I thought bishop g4. I mean, where do you go? Check. To d3, there's knight f2 check. 
yeah, and this or oh, C2. I'm just promoting. I'm just promoting. Okay, now oh, bishop f bishop f four. Check. Check. Yeah, well, like this, this ambitious play really paid off. Yeah, f6 is a is a very aggressive way to counter this move, this bishop g5 move. There are many solid ways, like knight f6 or h6, everything's uh, this okay. This is, uh, however, something you must be cautious about, because e4 is um, a quite funky gambit. <laughs> It's like the Albans with an extra tempo, and this is um, tricky. And uh, well, this this is normally answered by bishop uh, to h4, and then this is the idea: grabbing the the bishop, even like that, intending h4, winning this piece, leads to very uh, strange positions, but interesting. Yeah, and this is of course super ambitious and um, hard to say. Maybe this uh, is really good. I mean, it, it is a big center, but it can be it can be weak. Queen b3. Now this one. Yeah, I don't I don't like that really. This this looks like some some nice space advantage. B5 B4 coming. Not not clear to me. But this this now. This now is very nice. Yeah, and here we are, we are already in the range of uh, of losing. Yeah, comp is on minus two. This is this is not defend defensible Check. anymore, really. Check. Check. Yeah, f six is a is a, a a nice way to play against bishop g five if you want. Um, a complicated position quickly. It's um, it's sometimes an obligation to have this bigger center, but it's um, also providing you with chances to unbalance quickly. Thanks for watching.